What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care as we are in the Ridgeland region and I've marked out the map with all of the Korok seed locations. So we're going to go as we usually do from the southernmost point up to the northernmost point and take on everything as we go along. We're also going to be taking along the canyon because that technically is part of this region somehow. Anyway, let's begin. We're going right on down to... Uh, let's go over here. We're going to go to the swamp just west of the Dalite Forest. And if you're curious about why there's no treasures on the map, it's because... I've decided to axe that project now. It's not fun to do, it's not fun to watch, and once you've seen one, you've seen them all. So I don't really want to put that much time into it anymore. These videos take long enough that I'm no longer going to do treasures. Sorry if that disappoints you, but really, there's nothing else. That's just the way it is. So first things first, at this big tree in the bottom left hand corner of this little body of water, there is a Korok underneath a rock on top of the tree. Next up, you can see it on the map, it's just a little northwest of here on the corner of the swamp. I'm calling it a swamp, it's not that swampy. This guy is just a little acorn. Next up, we're going to go down to the Delete Delight Forest, which is apparently here. So this guy just seems to be a little rock in the middle of the path. A little out of the ordinary. Nope, that would be why. It's only a blue rupee. My marker just was trolling me a little bit. Instead, it's actually another acorn puzzle up top on this tree over here. Next up, we're going further east. You can see it on the minimap. Ah, uh, here we go. It's a little bit more to the right of where I actually was. It's an offering bowl. Right, next up, we're going to go up northeast, just south of this Salufa Hill on this tree here. And it's another offering Korok. Next up, I think we're going to go over to the far west, to the bottom of this little canyon water body here, and then we're going to do another sweep west to east. Well, I say another, it's, it's the first one we're going to do now, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. And this guy's kind of well hidden, actually. He is underneath a rock hidden around these rocks. Here he is. Lovely. Right, next up we're going to go just a little bit east, again along this sort of foresty river that's going on over here. Here we are in this little river tree thing, and the cork can be found at the top of the biggest tree here. No, it can't. Now this cork is in a bit out of place position, but it's underneath some leaves and underneath a rock underneath that on this little mound, just northwest of where I put the marker. Right, next we're going to go up to Rutile Lake. Here we are in the lake, and it is a throwing rock Korok. Oh. There we go. Up next, we're not going to take on the other Koroks in the lake. Instead, we're going to go and right down here to this forest over here, and then go along. As a bit of a side note, I will be getting some treasures as I see them. But I'm just not going to show them either on screen or go out of my way to collect all of them. If they're all opal and arrows, nah, not worth my time. A little off from my marker, but there is a hole here ready for golf, and <gasps> there's the golf balls. Well, actually, those were mine facilities, but I was talking about those balls up there. Alright, up next we're going to go up to this little guy over here, just south of this tiny body of water on Satori Mountain. So with this goofily fast animation, we now need to get this boulder out of the way. Boom, it's done. Let's get our Korok. Thank you. Alrighty, next up we're going to go, um, we'll go straight over to this guy just southeast of the Sanedian Park ruins. Now this little guy is nice and simple, he is just underneath a little rock off on the edge of the region, overlooking some future areas. There's only one future area in sight here, but still, you know what I mean. Right, next up we're going to go way on back to this little guy over here, by this clump of trees, just west of Rutile Lake, northeast of Cliffs of Ruvara. Alrighty, and here we are. All we need to do is find a balloon in one of these clumps of trees. There it is, right in the center. Mm. 
Radio. Up next, we're going to go just down to this river, Tamiyo River. And it's just a simple Korok in the middle of the little rock formation in the river. Next up, we're going to go just north of Rutile Lake, make our way down it. Right, so this first one's a little away from the actual mountain. We need to go down to this little... Whoops, why am I clicking in? There we go, this little ridge down here because... I was lied to. Turns out my marker was off. Way, way off. I was getting confused because of this little ridge when we actually need to go for this little ridge here. What we need to do... Let me get rid of this uh, stamp and pin because they're both actually wrong. We need to come down here because there are some leaves. But... Blowing them up with a bomb. Oh, works as well. You can also use a bladed weapon, apparently. Right, up next, it's on the minimap. We're going to go to the northern part of this uh, forest. And this guy is beneath a, ma a breakable rock under the top of the mound at the top of the forest. Describing these things, man. Apparently, I just can't do it. Right, next, you can see it on the minimap. It's a little bit south inside this forest. Now this one is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 flower patch. The fourth one is inside this tree covered in thorns. If only it wasn't raining and I had something that could go on fire. Well, actually you can just land on top of it too. That also works. If you can aim it. Right, there we go. Okay, that's four. And number five. Where are you? Is that you? I think that's you. No, I was seeing yellow out of nothing. Interesting. Okay. Here we go. Alrighty, up next, you can see it on the new map still, it is further south in the forest. Actually, it's not actually in the forest, it's part of the water again, and it's one of those, oops, connected metallic uh, boulders again. Apparently this is a theme that just showed up later in some regions. All you need to do is you need to put them both in the tree stumps. Good luck. Now, as per usual, stasis is the way to go to make sure that one doesn't fall out the other tree trunk. Radio, and that's us done with new tile lake. So next we're gonna go just to the top, or by the shrine at least, of Satori Mountain. So I'm doing this again because I had to go back and get an old shrine. It turns out yes, you can take it out with just a blade. Alright, here we are at the Moglatan Shrine, and the Korok we're after is literally right next to it. Underneath a rock, behind some leaves. Right, next up, it's just a little bit more to the right. So apparently the Korok starts here and ends in the peak of Satori Mountain, but I've seen the opposite. I've seen a flower trial start inside this little crevice, yeah. So, not enough, but this is where we actually need to be, in the middle of the peaks. Should take us over to, I assume, that rock over there. Alright, and the next one we're going to is to the right in this body of water over here. Okay, so I've just spent way too long thinking this is some extra crazy durian tree puzzle. It's not, it's a Korok race that lands here. Actually starts off way off down south here on the very eastern edge of this little ridge here. Right, next up we're gonna go down to these two Koroks here. So the first one by this clump of trees, logs. And since we're by some logs, it should be pretty obvious that we need to get an acorn in the log. Maybe I should use an arrow. Right next, we're going northeast of here on this little high cliff. It's an archery test. Apparently, I wasn't feeling that archful today. Anyway, next, we're going to go do a whole nother scope from the west, starting off west of Satori Mountain. And this is a simple rock formation with the rock a little bit to the east behind some bushes. Right next we're going onto this body of water just north of the peak of Satori Mountain. And for this one we just need to go to the top of this cherry blossom tree. Next up we're going northeast, we're going to this mound over here. And at the top of these rocks are more breakable rocks. Next we're going southeast to this little block in between the trees here. And for this there is a single lonely bear tree that you need to climb at the very top and activate the fairy lights. Next up we're going southeast further to this body of water trees over there. 
So this one's a little weird. There's a rock inside this stump. Pick it up. Hmm. Alright, next up, we're going to this clump of trees here. For this one, it's another acorn in the tree. Shoot it. Yeah, the concept has to be that they're inside the acorns, I'm not quite sure, but oh well. Next up, we're going east further to this clump of trees, properly east of Satori Mountain. And it's another acorn in the tree. Alright, next up, we're gonna do another. L no, we're not. We got this last guy here. Far, far, far to the east. Behind some more trees. And this guy's just underneath a rock at the top of the big tree here. Right now, we're gonna do another loop way off to the west. Starting way up high, down, well, not off out of bounds, but right down here. Alright, here we are. It doesn't really feel like you're in that much of a cavern. It just feels like an extended part of the region. But oh well, it's another archery test. Let's see what you can do. Cool. Next up, we're going a little northeast. Right now, this Korok is a simple little rock formation here. Right next, we're going to this windmill down here. Now, very sneakily placed, there's an acorn dangling off it. Right, next up, we're now going north of this Korok because it's a race from this end to that end. Here it is, literally just on this little ridge here, taking us to the other end. Next up, we're going down towards the southern part of the Tanaga Canyon. Right, now this guy's just simply behind a rock. Next up, we're gonna go a little bit south to the Lake Illumin Illumini. And for this, we need to do the one to five flower trip again. Flower trip? Flower trip. Right, next we're gonna go way off east, just north of the Tamiyo River now. And this Korok is again just underneath some rocks, just a little bit on the northern edge. Next up we're just gonna go a little southeast of the shrine west of the Jeddo Bridge. Looks like a rock formation. It's not. And this is just a little archery test. Next up, I think we're gonna go just a little bit north of this shrine, just by this clump of trees, northwest of the Jeddo Bridge. It's a tree puzzle, make the fruits match. Next up, I wanna take this guy here, right in the West Hyrule Plains, around these little dots of trees. So over here is an invisible Korok. Next up, we're going a little more northeast, around these clump, like dots of trees. It is just a slab. Next we're going south, still on the West Hyrule Plains, just north of the southernmost trees. My marker's quite a way off actually, we need to go to this little flower bit here, it's around here, so west of the southernmost trees in the West Hyrule Plains. One to five. Next, we're going to the southern easternmost corner of the West Hyrule Plains, this little tree down on a ridge. Hmm, a ridge on Ridgeland. This guy is just an acorn in a tree. Next, we're going further south on the other side of the water, north or just east of the Jeddo Bridge. It is a cube puzzle. Haven't seen one of those in a while. The cube is in the water. Right, and while we're still on this line, I do want to do these last four down here. So, we're going right by the Rosinia Ridge uh, River number, down to this little land over here. First on this little beach here. This guy was just underneath a rock, a little away from where my marker was, but you get the idea anyway. Next guy is a Korok balloon underneath the bridge, on the west side of it.
and the one's on the east side of the bridge. And this guy's also under the bridge. It is a flower trail. I really kept thinking it was going to go on top of the bridge, and that really, really threw me off. Right, and the next one is just north of the bridge. You can even see it from the bridge. It is a rock throwing test. Right, next up we're going to do another loop from the west, this time going just east of the Tenakosa Shrine, or the Ancient Columns, or south of Tabantha Great Bridge. Your choice. We're going here. So this guy is just underneath a slab, or a slate, I forgot what I called them now. Next up we're going just a little bit southeast of there to another clump of rocks along the ridge. Once again, my marker's a little bit off. We need to be a little bit further east than I actually put it on the right and or the easternmost version of this little clump of pillars, I guess. I just underneath a rock in here. Next up, we're going north, just a little bit south of the western side of the Tabantha Great Bridge. Right, and this is a simple little cube puzzle <laughs> that actually wants it to be diagonal this time. Next up, we're going to go west of the Hyrule Ridge, or the Serra's Scablands, just a little bit east of the stables and the Shaloya Shrine, right to the west part of these westernmost mushrooms. So in this region, there is an invisible Korok running around happily. Next up, we're going to this mushroom here. It's going to race us down to this one here. Here it is, and there that is. Next up, we're going to go to this northernmost mushroom here. And this guy's just underneath a Korok. Or a, it's a Korok balloon underneath the mushroom, even. Next up, we're going southeast to this mushroom here. And this guy is also a Korok balloon. Next up, we're going to Ludfo's bog in the southern-eastern part of it. We're going to these three Koroks here. The first one we're going to is the westernmost one. It's actually a race from this one here down to this one. I really like how even though it's raining, you can freely climb these mushrooms because they're blocking the rain from you. That's a really cool attention to detail. <laughs> Apart from this bit here. Oh, okay, so it's not actually a race, it's a flower trial. My vision was not the best there. Next is this one here. It's in an extra body of water. A Korok lily pad. Next up, we're going to this northern one here. Which, this one is the Korok race. It is just a tiny bit north of it on this little land. Yeah, it is land actually. Taking us up and over there. Next, we're going east to the Breach of Demise on the main path on this little pier on the southern part of it. Still attached to the West Hyrule Plains. Once again, I'm getting thrown off. It's a Korok race that starts even more south, then goes to it. Next, we're going to the very end of the path in the Ridgeland region, east of the Breach of Demise, to these last two here. So first things first, here we are. We're going to go to the northern part of the western edge of this bridge. There is a little heightened level here where the Korok is. Actually, that's not true. It ends here. It's another race from over there somewhere. Still, we'll do it now. Welcome to the closest part to Hyrule Castle we'll be in a little while. Huh. Anyway, yes, this is technically a Korok for the Ridgeland region. I'm going to count it as such. We need to just fly on over there now. And with that finally done, we're now going to go to the actual bridge. And this guy is an acorn hanging below the bridge. We're now going down to the Tanagar Canyon, uh, Canyon course, north of the bridge. Also, look how little there is to do now. Gosh, taking out treasures really does speed things up. 
So now that we're here, you may just about see that there's a flagpole, just sort of in the middle of it. Go to the top of it. Look more like a golf pole. Next, we're going to go to Mount Rome. Going to go to the southernmost point first, which is the very peak of it. So, here we are just about at the peak of Mount Rome. Underneath a rock is a core rock. Next one's just a little bit north of here, just a little bit south of the body of water on Mount Rome. And this guy is also under a rock, just at the top of the waterfall here. Next up, we're going just south of the Thundra Plateau. And just southwest of it, there is an invisible Korok running around. Also, how do you like the Thunder Plateau in nice sunshine? That's what happens when you do the shrine around here. Next up, we're going just a little bit east to this big mushroom here. So, at the very top of this giant mushroom is your own rock formation. This time, needing three <laughs> whole rocks, and they're just scattered now. around anyway. What a poetic looking shot. Next up, we're going east again of the Breach of Demise, but a lot more north, so northeast, really. Going to these two little piers on the eastern edge of the North Hyrule Plain. So first things first, we're going to the northernmost one of the two. It is just a cube puzzle down here. And now to the southernmost one. That was a weird sentence. It actually starts up over here. It's a game of golf. A bit of a slanted one there. Or it's gonna go absolutely perfectly in. Okay. Right, next up we're gonna do another scope from the west. We're gonna finish all of the place in this last scan, so we're actually gonna go up to what's basically the Tabantha region. The only reason I'm going here is because we actually missed one. There's two in this area, so we're going to this guy down here. Or up there first. Now whether I actually chose to skip it or I did actually miss it, I don't know, but it does- it is a race that starts on the western side- uh, the southern side even, so maybe I just decided to skip it and it wasn't a mistake of mine. Either way, we gotta go up there now. Right, next we're going back down south to the upland Lindora, this little tree here. So for this guy, it is an acorn in the tree. Next up, we're going to go off again to the canyon, just a little bit northeast of where we are now. So for this Korok, it is simply a rock formation. So next up, we're going back southeast again, to the bottom of this southern edge of the upland Nindora. <laughs> Some of these descriptions are not my best. Anyway, at the bottom of this ridge is the bombable rock that holds a Korok behind it. Okay, so next up we're going to go to the topmost part of Upland Lindora, these three Koroks here, just northeast of the Marg Nora Shrine. Why did I roll my R's? I'm not quite sure. So, first one, the southernmost one and westernmost one of them all, is a simple rock. No, no, I can't find it. Here it is, I was on the wrong rock formation. Or rock. Blop. I don't know. Next one we're going to is the Northern Mer one. Northern Mer one? Northern Moor one. It's down here. And it is a cube puzzle. And next up, we're going to this Eastern Moor one here. Ignoring a stone talus, there is a bombable rock on the northern side of this cliff. Behind it is your core rock. So next up is the final five. The first of one, first of them is Lindor's Brow, western side of it, along these dotted bits of trees here. Okay, so what we're looking for here is a single bare tree. At the top of it is an activatable fairy light. Blob. Everything's a blob. And next up we're going to this Korok down here, which starts at the very peak of Lindor's Brow. Here we are, it is a Korok race taking us down to it. Right, next we are going northeast of the Ridgeland Tower, going to the North Hyrule Plains here. Here we are at the North Hyrule Plain. It's uh, a little deadly here, maybe because we're getting awfully close to a, a certain location. 
The Royal Ancient Lab Ruins. Anyway, it is a flower trial starting at the northernmost point and taking us down and through. Possibly one of the most evil looking Korok so far. Just needs a little bit more of Hyrule Castle in it. Anyway, next up we're going to go up north to this tree here. Here we are at this tree. It's actually a pretty important location because a memory comes here. So if you haven't seen that, check out my other video. Give it a very unsubtle plug. Anyway, we need to be at the top of this tree for our Korok. And the final place we're going to is this last Korok here, just east of the Royal Ancient Lab Ruins. And for this, it is a final rock throwing water trial. If you even call them trials. Okay. And with that done, that is every single Korok in the entire Ridgeland region. Or the Hyrule Ridge, as it says on the map. So, I believe on that note, I am going to edit off here. Next time, we're finally going to get on with some story. We've done three new areas of completing everything. Laneru, Lake Tower, and Ridge Land. So, now we're going to head off. Maybe not to Hyrule Castle, but a very important story spot next. For now though, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.